All right, let's talk about working with an artist. Um, we've talked about writing until like the end of time. This is now the end of time. Um, and you finally probably have a comic script edited to completion. Totally, totally is something you've totally done. Um, but now what? Now what do you do with it? Well, it's time to go back to those early videos that Ursula made and start working on all that art stuff. And also look at her last video because it was about collaboration and it's probably way better than this video. Why are you listening to me? I'm clearly the worst half of McKay and Gray. Who would win in a fight? It's me. Um, anyways, so today's video we're going to talk about working with your artist and turning your script into a actual comic thing. Um, so I got five tips because I'm lazy. Five tip videos are just lazy videos, but they get a lot of views from you guys. So thanks. Um, so number one, when you're making your comic into a reality, do not make an exact replica of what is in your mind. And, and not because whatever in your whatever's in your mind is like terrible or anything, but don't strive to make whatever is in your mind or have your artist somehow make whatever is in your mind for like every page because it just gets exhausting to kind of do that and it can be a bit stifling too a lot of the times what you predict a scene looking like it actually might look better a whole different way so make sure to try different things you know let your artist experiment if you're not the artist and let yourself experiment if you are the artist don't just go through through with whatever your mind was picturing a million times over for no reason other than well I thought of it and it looks really cool you know try and justify your design decisions and also on another side of that it's like don't put so much pressure on yourself to make exactly what you imagine in your mind sometimes you're just not going to be at the art skill level to pull it off and that's okay too it's better to be good good to yourself and, and you know let yourself not be perfect and avoiding trying to like satisfy this image in your mind it's, it's hard and you shouldn't do it to yourself <laughs> okay so number two it's okay to have to change the script okay number two is you have to sometimes you'll be doing the art phase of stuff and even though you've edited everything a million times and you love it sometimes it just doesn't work in art form and that's okay it's okay to have to like alter things if you're an artist don't go altering things without like the consent to do so but if you're having trouble feel free to discuss it because some things just don't play well in the artistic medium and you realize that they don't play well later on so it's okay to have to change the script you're not a failure if you didn't f fulfill everything perfectly and usually by the time you're reaching some pages it's been a long time since you've touched the script and you might have new ideas anyways so there you go it's okay to tinker with the script even though i really want you to have a finished script it's okay if sometimes things have to change or you notice something has messed up don't worry about it you're fine number three you should know what's important and you should be trying to get what you should be trying to get that across. Um, I like to write down anything important in the script and make sure that it's very obvious that it's important. Like this is the purpose of the scene. Like I've said through all of this writing stuff, you should know what the purpose of your scene is. You should know what the purpose of panels is. And when it comes down to actually arting the art part of it, make sure that whatever is important is getting across and if you are forgetting that, you need to like edit the thing. If you're getting sidetracked, you need to focus on what's important and not render the background character's expression so perfectly. Because you know what? You need the focal point of your scene being the focal point. So always keep that in mind and make sure to write it out. <laughs> Don't just keep it in your mind and hope you'll remember it for 10 years. Keep that important information in your script because no one else is really going to see your script aside from beta readers and it's fine if they see that kind of stuff. Number four, it's okay to talk about things not going well. It's also okay to have to try again and it's okay to make mistakes. If you're an artist, this is a, a lot different than if you are the artist, if you're just the writer. But if you're the writer and you're noticing things that your artist are, is doing to the comic and you don't like the things... 
it's okay to talk about it and it's good to talk about it early especially in like thumbnailing and design phases don't go forward on anything that you don't feel entirely comfortable with and make sure you try and justify why you're feeling uncomfortable with a decision or why you feel it would be a better way it's a lot easier to like approach someone where you're like I want this to be different because I feel like with this composition it's not highlighting this particular aspect of the scene that I feel is really important and it could be done a better way. Leave room for the artist to like experiment and have fun but at the same time you don't want to compromise something that you feel like isn't working. Like you aren't completely at the whims of your artist especially if you're in like some sort of partnership and if you're paying them to do your comic pages I mean then it's a different story because like because like uh, corrections are going to cost money, but make sure you're happy with things and make sure to check in with your artists very early on and learn how to interpret thumbnails from your artists because sometimes, man, they are they are a hot mess and you need to be aware of what's going on. So number five for my short, terrible video um, is have fun and keep things fresh. Okay, you're going to be doing this comic art thing forever, basically, because it's a comic and comics take literally forever to complete. So always be having fun and always keep things fresh. Um, try and get excited. Try and get involved in the pages, especially if you're a writer, because you're going to be pretty distant after you've finished your script. But you got to keep the hype train alive think of cute things, think of like world building things, anything you can add and just be involved and also help your artist out where you can. Anyone can flat color. You can do it. Learn to flat color if your artist needs it. Learn to compile things or promote or anything. Just find other odd jobs that you can help your artists with because they've got a lot of work and a lot of specialized skills. So if they need you to make a whole bunch of page templates or something you can do it it's pretty easy to figure out you don't have to have any artistic skill to do some of this stuff so be involved and have fun and help each other out and this video is so obvious and terrible and I don't know why you watched it but thank you I'm just so close to done with this challenge um my next videos are gonna be about actually putting your comic out there what you do with them whether or not you should do a webcomic or not because man I got a weird comment about webcomics guys I don't I don't even understand some of the comments I get from like strange people on the internet but you know so so is life say la vie yeah and then I'll talk about promotion which I'm terrible at why why do you guys even listen to me all right have fun and make comics guys and never do the 100 days of comics challenge I'm thinking of like another challenge, okay? Next time I do 100 days, I feel like it should be the 30 days. I, I, we'll do a reverse 100 days. We'll do the exact same amount of time in 30 days instead because you could do 100 minutes for 30 days. That's like about two hours a day. That would be crazy, but it would be over quick. <laughs> I don't know. Should we do Inktober? I hate Inktober. I love Inktober. That's a big freaking fat lie. I love Inktober, but I don't know if we should do it. I have to do Moonlight. I have to contact people. Ugh. Ugh, ugh, ugh. My puppy is sad. I'm just rambling now. I'm going to stop. Thank you for watching, and thank you for sticking around with us so long. You guys are blessed. Hashtag blessed. Goodbye.